<laughs> hey, what's up? It's your boy Lou Rex. you a lot of questions that you probably don't get answered yeah you know a lot of people don't know you like that you know yeah. like i know you <laughs> For real, man. so don't don't get nervous on me my boy nah, you good, bro. okay let's pick it up where we left off basically so whenever you come to your music making process what is a must have like what is your thinking process when you come into a record how will you approach it where really, do you bro, start like really like i Honestly, I don't like nobody being in there. Like, if there's another artist in there and we're not working and he's just there, like, you go. bro, you gotta go, bro. Like, let me. Because then they start, like, you know, trying to co produce. <laughs> but all you should do is. Uh, and yeah, like, that That throws off my whole vibe. The whole vibe, yeah. Yeah, the whole vibe. So definitely, if I'm going to the studio, it's just me and the engineer. That's it. That's it. That's it. You don't you know, need nobody else. I don't, yeah, I don't need nobody else. That's it. And. Really, like, I like to vibe first. Like, if I go in there ready with a, with a beat already, then it's cool. I already, I already got an idea of what I'm going to do. Yeah. But sometimes I like to be fresh and, you know, like, come out with stuff on the spot. So, Let the ideas flow, get yeah, the creative so, juices going. Uh-huh. So I started, you know, look, looking up for beats and, you know, yeah. like, I bring out the instruments and stuff like that and just start vibing, you know, looking for that vibe. And so that new record, song record you got out, who produced it? Um, my boy, the Migo. Migo? Yeah, he's, uh, he's the guy that, he's the guy that's on it. The yeah. song, the song se llama Piel a Piel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Él, yeah. Es, el, él es el feature que está ahí. Mm -hmm. Y, pues, uh, quick story on that. Um, es mi primera canción de reggaeton que tengo. Güey. And you killed it. <laughs> he he killed, killed it, too. That's he that's did, too. His vocals are good. The way he approached the record, everything, it just sounds really organic. Bien, bien ahí, bien firme. Mira, creo que salió la comida, bro. Mira, hey. vienen las campechanas. Aquí andamos, está con madre, órale. Muchas gracias. Chido, chido, chido. Muchas gracias, gracias. Órale, está bien, gracias. Let me choose this out. Let me see what it was. She ain't say nothing. Okay, I'm... Sweet, for sure. ¿Tú qué pediste, bro? Pedí dos gringas y dos piratas. Pediste dos gringas y dos piratas. Básicamente lo mismo que tú pediste, pero se para. Pero se para, André. Yeah. Que esto es tuyo. Dos gringas y dos piratas. Yes, sir. This right here? Bueno, esas son tuyas. Me imagino que sí, espérate. Dame un segundo porque sigo abriendo cositas aquí. Mm -hmm. Como que escucho mi canción. Right. ¿Quién la está poniendo? <laughs> que alguien está poniendo mi canción. Right. <laughs> That's a, one. That's a wonderful feeling, huh? Yeah, did you order something, bro? Yo, did you order something? I think he did, too. They gave it to us together. I think they did, bro. Uh, did they, I think they gave it to us together. I think they did. Yeah, I need to know where's wood. Okay, the drinks. This is looking like mine. 
For sure, yeah. No, we good. We good. The drinks are right here. They come out in the way. Oh, oh shit. Sí, porque te lo dieron en la... ¿Quién da un mira a dónde está la can opener? Acá está. ¿Lo cerraste? Ya, lo puedo. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Y pues esto fue lo que me dieron y él pidió dos y dos. Uh -huh. so, entonces, tal vez... Ahí está el ticket. No, está bien. Ya, ya todo está bien. ¿Estás seguro? Sí. Ya. Ya está bien. Bueno, pues... Let's do the review real quick, ¿no? Since we already got it. These are the gringas. Oh, it's oh, still, still recording? This is the gringo, right? right? Oh. Bueno, pues. Ya tenemos la comida aquí. Vamos a probarla. These are the gringas from Taco Madre. Vamos Can never go wrong with this. The edgy food location. Can damos Cheers, my boy. Juan Mendez. Cheers, bro. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we mm. just cheered with some tacos, bro. <laughs> bro. No, these are the piratas. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with this, man. Well, pues está muy bueno, mi raza. Está bueno. Caigan aquí a probar las campechanas. ¿Nunca había venido para acá, man? No. La verdad que no, nunca había venido. Mi soy de esta área, bro, y nunca he venido para acá. Pero sí veo que todos mis amigos, pues, a veces vienen para acá. Lo y lo ponen, aquí, ¿no? Ya lo ponen en la social media y todo. Man. Te sí, digo la bien. verdad. ¿Qué onda? Si tiene sabor la carne. Oh, hell yeah. Si tiene buen sabor la carne. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. I've been coming here since I was like, since I, since I was your age, like how many you, like 15? Since 15, bro? Mm -hmm. Damn. They used to have a little taco truck just outside, bro. You know? And they'll be open all night, just like Borrego do. And then, everybody used to come with the truck, with the, with the trucks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chill, bump. They'd be posted outside with their beer and shit, you know what I'm saying? And this one, es la gringa. Mm -hmm. It's what it's looking like right here. It's just basically carne de pastor. Basically una quesadilla de pastor, you know? Mm -hmm. With avocado. Mm. This is a 10 out of 10. Straight up. And I am being biased because I love this place. Bueno, pues esta fue la campechana y le digo la neta, si sí está buena. Uno de diez que la das, carnal. Le doy... Te voy a decir la verdad. No cap. Mira, le voy a dar un ocho. Te voy a decir por qué. Le faltó un poquito más de carne. <risa> un poquito más. Pero si está, si está bueno, está delicioso. Es que ahorita estamos en una recesión, güey. Andale. <laughs> Pero hey, uh, fun fact, though, like, ahí, yo no sabía que a la, a la carne de fajita, mm -hmm. que no le dicen fajita, le, se, se, le dicen asada. Asada. Right. Oh, y yo no, andale, yo no sabía eso, bro. Y cuando me di cuenta, no, hombre, I was like, like my nosotros, bro, nosotros bro. aquí le decimos fajita. Sí, nosotros le decimos fajita. Mm -hmm. O la gente de la frontera. Mm -hmm. Porque uh, si vas a Califas o cualquier otro lugar, le dicen asada. Mm -hmm. You know? So they had a homeboy from over there. My homeboy Dominic. Shout out to Dominic, man. He used to come through over here. He's spending summers. So he used to put me on uh, all that lingo. And he said, the first time I took him to El Regio, uh -huh. it's a little taco spot by my crib. 
But he was like, oh, you got me that part of the sala? And the lady was like, the hell? <laughs> nah, yeah, for sure. Yo me di cuenta de eso porque fui para allá para Phoenix con un amigo que tengo allá. Mm. Took a road trip out there. Y cuando llegamos ahí, lo, llegamos ahí a su casa, pues a uh, to rest for, li for a little bit. Yeah. Y pues nos pidió unos tacos, eh. <laughs> y, y, y pues nos pidió los tacos y yo le dije, eh, pues, de fajita, de, 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 de fajita, y ese güey me dice, what, what, aquí no se le dice así, y like, se le dice asada, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? todo mind blown, todo diferente, mm -hmm. shout out to my boy Chila, hey, shout out to my boy, where were you at, my boy, shit, for sure, you're a real one, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and talking about you touring, What's the place that you never thought you'd go? That like music has taken you? This period. People like, damn, I never thought I'd come to the city or I never thought these people would fuck with me like that, you know? That I've gone to personally? Mm -hmm. I went up there to Chicago, bro. Mm. I went up there to, to Chicago recently just to go visit a, a cousin of mine. Yeah. And I go over there, bro, and... That's my cousin. He's the same age as me. Wow. So we're we, we're in the same crowd, you know. So, bro, like, I go up there, and there's already people that listen to my music, bro. <laughs> like, there's, but then, like you say, like they, they don't know how I look like. So when I went over there, I'm I'm over here, the only one wearing my merch and shit. Everybody looking at like, me what? like, where you like, get who's that? that? Where you get that? You know, like, <laughs> and like, yeah, like. Si se la creen, güey. Like, no, si yeah. se la creen. Like, cuando ya te miran y te conocen, te hacen preguntas, ya, mm -hmm. ya se la creen, bro. They go do the homework on you real sí, quick. Wey, pero no, pero crazy, güey, porque la neta son... You may think it's peeping in my window that they, they jam to, right? Pero son las canciones que tienen menos vistas en mi, mm -hmm. en mi, en mi catálogo, güey. Yeah. And they know the words. Word by word. Y se saben los títulos también, mm -hmm. like... Porque llegó el punto donde fui allá a una fiesta. ¿Ya? Y pues, yo siendo el, el que no es de ahí, pues to, es la, toda la atención está en mí, ¿verdad? Pues, yeah. ¿Quién es este vato, verdad? So, entonces, ya cuando pues, preguntan que quién soy, está un, un grupo, ¿verdad? Y pues ahí me ponen a cantar y todo el uh -huh. rollo, güey. Y me empiezan a pedir que, hey, la he relajado. La, la he crecido en el barrio. La, y, y yo me quedo como que, wow, like. Pues esas fueron mis primeras canciones, güey. But the niggas don't know it was you. Yeah, y... That's crazy. Yeah, güey. Está, está, está chido ese pedo, güey. La euforia que ha de sentir después de eso. Uh -huh. Y no la satisfacción. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y cuando compusiste el corrido relajado, ¿cuál fue el proceso? ¿Dónde estabas mentalmente cuando compusiste eso? What was the, the la verdad, bro. Uh -huh. No estaba... Cuando yo escribí el corrido de relajado, it's not too far from the time where where we met, bro, where we were kicking it at the barbershop. <laughs> it wasn't too far, and you know I used to live in that area, right? So yeah. I just dropped you up in the apartments. Yeah, yeah. So behind the apartments there was a park, the school yeah. park. I would go over there like every 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 almost every day just to find my own zone. Yeah, go blowing and then just like play guitar and shit. I was doing that. And, bro, I, in my head, I was like, man, I want to do corridos, but, like, I've been wanting to do it, you know, like, and then, boom, like, I found myself rolling up, and then, like, playing the guitar, so I was like, man, I'm going to make it about this, so, boom, yeah. like, oh, <laughs> I'm and relaxed. it just came out, yeah, and it just yeah. came out, you know, and uh, when I, I remember when I was making it, like, I knew I was making something, yeah. you know? And you know you had something special. Like yeah, I knew that that track was gonna be special. And yeah, bro. Sure enough, I did a, I, I did like a live video for that song. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my boy Barf. Shout out uh, to Barf. He shot that video for us. Yeah. You know, kind of to help us out and you know expose us out there. Yeah. And I chose that song because people were just like already liking that song. You know, from just playing it to them. You know. Oh yeah, they can relate to it. You know? And yeah, and. Uh, That song wasn't even out, so when I put it out with Barf and stuff like that, it definitely built a buzz. Yeah, it just definitely created that that, that buzz. And, shit. and how was working with Barf at the time? 
I know that had to mean a lot to you. It did, bro. Because I was with Barf. I could say... What is his highest, not, right? Not, not, not when he was starting. Definitely not. But when he was buzzing. Yeah. Like, he was starting to buzz. Yeah. Because I'm not going to lie. He's, a, he's sick at what he does. And yeah, like 2020, 2021, everybody, like, that's what yeah, I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the era mm-hmm. where, where it came out from. Mm-hmm. And uh, I he remember, I remember, no, yeah. He was doing that shit with, uh, he, did the, he, he used to do that with rappers. He used to do yeah. ciphers with the rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh. So it's crazy about him too, cause uh, he he followed me on Twitter already, right? Yeah. So he knew about my music too, cause I, I'll be I'll be tweeting about it. So <laughs> so yeah, so he would follow me, and then one one day he 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 tweeted, I'm, I'm gonna do a project to expose and help you know local New, talent, local talent you know, yeah. but it's gonna be strictly just corridos. Mm. So he did that. And when he posted that, I remember I, I quoted it. You told him, what's I was, up? Like, I was like, I'm down. And then just like that, like, I'm down. And then he sent me a message with the details and information. And we just made it happen, bro. And you pulled up. Where'd yeah. y'all do that? We did it at, uh, I think it was a body shop, a, a truck body shop. Not too far from here, bro. No shit. Like, down the street right here, Pasadena area. Yeah. Yeah, like, we shot that. And it was pretty cool, bro. Shit, yeah, like, cool scenery in the back. Yeah, like cool trucks. Yeah, like shit that. that was not out of the ordinary. Yeah, Something yeah. that people weren't going to expect for a typical video, a typical visual. Mm-hmm. See, that's what I'm telling you, bro, that I, when people see you, bro, it's different, mm-hmm. you know? People really get inspired from what they see, you know? And it's more important that your music is doing that without the visuals. But that's, I think that's one of the missed puzzles, you know? Mm-hmm. As an artist, people depict you, they see where you're coming from, they see how you're living. Like, so when we shoot videos, I want to show people what Houston really looks like. Not right. just the downtown, not just Galleria area, not just the pretty scenery, like, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, the at the hood, the neighborhoods inside where it really looks like this is what Houston really is. Mm-hmm. You know, we're so diverse. So I think it's a wonderful thing that you're bringing all that to the table, different flavors, different textures, you know what I mean? You're versatile, you're not just one-dimensional, and that's crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I just, I see a bright future for you, bro. Super proud of you. So to this day, what's the craziest or basically getting starstruck by meeting any of your favorite artists? Anybody come to mind like that? Or what was the craziest experience for you to this day? Well, look, I'm going to say this right now, bro. It's going to sound so crazy. (laughs) Because you know me, bro. Before anything, right? Yeah. When I was a little kid... Uh-huh. I was a big WWE fan. <laughs> right? Whoa, I wanted to be a wrestler, bro. Yeah. Like I wanted to be one of them, bro. <laughs> I was learning their moves and everything, bro. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to be a WWE superstar. Hell yeah. Okay, so through this music stuff, bro, mm-hmm. like you meet a lot of people that you don't expect to meet sometimes. Yeah. You know? Hell yeah. That's a fact. So I met I met MVP. What? A WWE superstar, you know MVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's 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 really big, and in my childhood, he was like the biggest. He was fighting John Cena, yeah. you know, at WrestleMania and stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. And like to me, like when I met him, like and I met him through my boy Ish. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Ish. Shout out to Ish, man. And uh, when I met him, like bro, it was just so like it was so weird, bro, because. You felt like you knew him already. Yeah. Because yeah. You, you see him all the time, you know? Yeah, yeah. You learn the dude's moves, his sayings. Yeah, yeah, bro. You even come out walking like him, or you put the little music. We yeah, used to bro. Shit. So I'm like, wow. Like, yeah, shit. the theme song. Hell there, yeah. Bro, I'm like, wow. Like, al Chile sí fue una de las presentaciones más locas para mí, bro, porque... I was just watching him like a few years ago yeah. as a kid, bro. Like, and now he's you know, right in front of your face. My, and then not just that, bro, like, this is so fucking cool. Yeah. Like, and, and it's so motivational. Like the little kid in you was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy, but more yeah. than anything, he looks up to me. That's crazy. And he, and he, and he let he let him be known. Like yeah. he's like, hey, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. When you come in through that door, bro, you smile, bro. You got that million dollar smile, bro. Like yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, don't forget, yeah. yeah, don't forget that, bro. Like shit, your your smile really brings out that good energy and shit. Yeah. You know, like. I feel, I feel like a homie, yeah. I yeah. feel like a homie, you know, and shit. And he, he told me that, bro. And ever since he told me that, like, I kind of saw it, like, like, wow, like, 
Uh, WWE be, superstar that's telling you, the whole world, uh, bro, told me that in uh, face to face, and I can't, I can't be thankful enough, bro, for that. Like that, straight up motivated the fuck out of me. Hell yeah! And so shout out to my boy MVP for real, man. Shout out to MVP, man. Shit, that had to sure, validate yeah. that for you and com- uh, like una confirmación. Sí, bro. Que de- estás yendo en el, el lugar. Que hay algo correcto. bien. Yeah. Sí. Que estás haciendo las cosas bien. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Que una persona de ese calibre, man, se tiene que sentir cabrón, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sentido, bro. Y mm-hmm. más que nada, más que nada que se tome su tiempo para conocerme, bro. Yes, yeah, yeah. Porque no nomás nos vimos una vez, bro. O oh, varias veces. Varias veces, varias veces, varias veces. Y me invitaba acá y me invitaba allá. Damn. Y, y yo iba y yo voy y... y... On the phone. Ahorita nos podemos topar en la calle, bro. O en un bar. Oh, o... he lives here in Houston? Yeah, he stays here in Houston. Oh, that's dope. I didn't yeah. even know that. Sí. So he... But he works in WWE, so he's always traveling. Yeah, hell yeah. So... So yeah, like it's crazy with like mutual connection is tight. But oh, you yeah, ask yeah. where where have we gone and stuff? Yeah. So I know you know Bad Bunny is in the WWE, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's in WWE. Yeah. Right? yeah. So every time Bad Bunny comes over here to Houston, bro, he's he's always like, "Hey, bro, let's go." <laughs> Damn, yeah, that's or sick, like bro. to to WWE shows, and yeah, stuff like yeah, that, yeah. like Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, and stuff that's like that. Lit, like, bro. He has me there in front of them, like. Yeah, like hell yeah. Front row, bro, like chilling with them and stuff and yeah. experiencing this stuff together. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, because we're also we're, we're also artists. He makes yeah. music too. That's what I was gonna ask you so, because if you met him at Sugar Hill, I was like, What? Yeah, he, he makes music. He engineers yeah. with my engineer. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. produces music too? Yeah, yeah. He, no, he uh he raps. He oh, raps, bro. Wow. He, he's sick with it, bro. He's he's cool with it. Yeah. Damn. And uh we worked on a little skit too, right there at the studio. That is lit, that was lit bro. As well. so, Hell yeah! You heard about uh, one take Jake? Yeah. You know when people say that? Yeah. So I never heard of that, right? Yeah. So he goes in there, he comes out with a whole skit idea, bro. He like, we're gonna do it like this. You sitting down right here, and then we're gonna make you look like you don't believe in me, but I'm gonna go in there and one take it, and like you know, <laughs> spit that out, you know, spit that. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. And so he, so he did, so. It was it was a cool little skit. And Hell yeah! Just just doing a skit with, with somebody hero. on, like with my hero, bro. Like, yeah. like, like crazy. The person you look up to all your yeah, life. Yeah, nah, for kid, real. Right? You like him, mm-hmm. motivating you right here, fucking with him like that. Mm-hmm. And he's taking you out to places like to the WWE, bro. That's big, bro. Mm-hmm. Me as a little kid, I would be going crazy, dog. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not lying, bro. It's a, it's it's crazy. Oh, that's amazing, bro. Mm-hmm. So that's basically your hero, right? When it comes to wrestling. But who in the music industry have you met that you'd be like, wow, like I never thought I'd meet this person? In the music industry? So far. Like, so, so far. So far, I, I can say, if, I can say here and name a few names, mm-hmm. but the positive, the, the most, the most impacted person that I, I'd say, like, like wow, yeah, you know, like damn, I got to meet this guy, Starstruck. Like yeah, like Starstruck type uh-huh. shit, bro. Like, out, damn, bro. I'm, that's a good question right there, bro. Because <laughs> I met, I met a few, a few. Let's stop name dropping artists, bro. Like, I'd say, just local. Oh, local, just Lo- local. local artists. Let's start okay. Lo- okay, let's start local. Okay, locally. Okay, well, I met ESG from the from the school of play. Shout out ESG. Shout he out to real. ESG. That's my boy. Yeah, he fucking went it tough. And Hoping he's doing better health-wise right now. And uh, the reason why I named him is because not only is he a big homie to me, you know? Bro, he's cool as a fan, bro. Yeah. For real, and, bro. And, like, hold on. Like, we picked this guy up. We're about to meet up. Mm-hmm. And we're about to chop it up, you know? Again, thanks to my engineer, like he knows these people. Yep. And wow, bro, like I'm sitting there in the passenger seat. He gets he gets in the back. He in there chilling, bro. And it's like it's like the '90s all over again. Bro. Like, <laughs> it's like the '90s all over again. He's got that vibe about him, huh? Yeah. And 
like fuck, like I play the song for him, peeping in my window. And it's crazy because I was starstruck that he was starstruck. Because when he heard the song, yeah, it's kind of like he was in that room with DJ Screw, bro. When DJ Screw yeah, did yeah, that yeah, song, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he was he 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 was in that era that he lived that. Yeah, I mean, because that was one of Kiki's biggest freestyles. Yeah, and whenever when he used that beat. Yeah, and when he heard that, the Spanish version, most importantly. Yeah, bro, this guy was close to fucking tearing up and shit, bro. Yeah, because it's it's kind of like he relived that moment mm-hmm. in a way, you know. It's part of his legacy too. And to see how far they took in the it's, game. Yeah. You know what I'm and, and then, like, I'm doing it in Spanish. Yeah. And then doing all these millions of views and mm-hmm. taking it worldwide. And it's like, and he's still it, alive. Mm-hmm. And he definitely shows alive. up to La Raza, bro. Yeah. Like, real. like, he always has. After that, bro, he he's like, hey, man, what's up, man? I got this Spanish song, bro. Hey, man, <laughs> what's up? Hey, look, check it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then he's showing me and stuff. But, but yeah, definitely ESG has to be one of the most... Uh, like yeah. local rappers aquí de Houston, Texas, mm-hmm. este, él es uno de los que ha impactado un poquito, poquito porque más. sí, porque pues él viene de la cultura, ellos son los que hicieron esto, yeah. ellos hicieron el, yeah. el, el los pioneros, pioneros, yeah. ellos son los los pioneros, bro, like mm-hmm. they're pioneers, bro, yeah. and to be accepted by them like that, like I'm only, I'm only 21 years old right yeah. now, bro, and when I met him I was 19, yeah. so and just to crazy, be accepted bro. like that, bro, it's like Wow. It had to be an amazing wow. feeling for him because that's how old he was whenever he was doing his thing. Yeah. So, you know, he's, he's like like passing that torch, you know what I'm saying, to the new generation. Not only that, to a whole different demographic of people, bro. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because different. they might be the face, but whenever you come out here, that's what Houston looks like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is what the Southeast, what it looks like, bro. Yeah. People that look like us. Yeah, you know? for sure. So it's like you're a big motivation. People need to see that. That's hopefully what we'll just see, interview, bro. push it even more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And, and uh, man, all love and, and prayers for ESG. He's a good one, bro. Yeah, he's a good one, man. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, bro, shit, uh, definitely one of, one of the greatest impacts. You know, he, is, he accepted me into the culture. You said Kiki really. fucked with you too, huh? Yeah, I, I did a show with, uh, with Lil Kiki. Mm-hmm. At the the official cap summit like a few <laughs> a few months ago. Man, that's lit, bro. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I got to meet him. I got to meet Slim Thug too. Slim Thug. Yeah, I got to meet him. I got to open. I think tall as shit. <laughs> yeah, he's tall as fuck, bro. <laughs> but I got to open up for him. You know, yeah. like uh, really packed show mm-hmm. and uh, really successful. So one of the best to come out of Houston, bro. Hands yeah, down. bro. Really, really, really badass and. Uh, I really recommend if you're from the Houston area, come out to these shows. Come out to these shows. Come meet me. Come, uh, come check out the music and yes, come, sir. Come, you know, come, come holla at me. You know, uh, come what? check it out. Most importantly, you know, uh, mm-hmm. shit, it gets live. It gets down. You know, like having the whole band up there. It's, it's mm-hmm. a whole vibe. You definitely give a show. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a good show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I los invito mi raza para que para que vayan a las tocadas aquí los shows que hace su compa Juan Mendes. A huevo. A huevo. <laughs> Show love. Tap in. Shout out your Instagram, bro. Shout out your YouTube, your Twitter, all of that all shit. Right, man. Mi nombre es Juan Mendez. Aquí andamos con mi compa Louis Rex. Rex. Yes, sir. Me puedes encontrar en cualquier plataforma como Juan Mendez. Puedes escuchar mi música, Juan Mendez. Y me puedes encontrar en Instagram como Juan underscore Mendez oficial. Así que... Un saludo para toda mi raza. Aquí andamos representando y levantando la bandera. Aquí andamos. One more question I want to ask you before we get out of here. So basically, everything that you're doing with your impact, with the influence, what would be the biggest reward for you or what would be your end game or what do you want out of this? What was your, what is your vision from the beginning going in? Like, what is the outcome? What is the end game for Juan Mendez? What does success mean to you? And basically, in a way, bro, mm-hmm. in a way, like, I guess it kind of already happened mm-hmm. because my my main goal, bro, with this music stuff is like, I do this out of love, first yeah. of all. I don't do this out of money, out yeah. of interest, no, none of that, bro. I do this out of love. I pick up the guitar because I love doing this. Yes, sir. That, that has to be understood. Yeah. Okay, so my... 
biggest impact on this music is like seeing the way the people react, like how the fans respond. Mm. Like it's it's like wow, one song, bro, could change a person's life. And yeah. I done seen it. I done yeah, seen yeah, it, bro. Yeah, I done yeah, seen yeah. it. There's people out there, bro. You never like, know what they're. You never know what they're going through, bro. Yeah, they're they're going through a fucking shitty ass day, bro. Yeah. Like shitty ass day, or or just a shitty moment, period, bro. Like, and they take the time to listen to one of my songs, yeah. and that's just big as fuck already because they listen yeah. to that and then instantly I'm able to change their mood through my music Hell and yeah. like remind them like. What the fuck was that mad about? You know, it's like, not that deep. It's you know? not that deep. Not you know, that like, yeah. shit, for sure. And también quiero dejar el, o sea, quiero dejar el impacto, it, let it be known. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I said I kind of already did that, it's like, look, bro, I, I have a song, right, peeping in my window with an yeah. English beat, right? Yeah. Originally a uh, English hip hop song, right? Goody Mo, shout out to Goody Mo and the Dungeon Family. Yeah, yeah, shit for sure. For real. Um, but I turned it, I grabbed that and turned and turned it into something else by switching up the language and the flow. Putting your and, flavor on and, it. And yeah, and, and the lyrics, honestly. Yeah. And uh, the culture. Mm. And uh, by me doing that and being successful at it, like. Yeah. Achieving over 40 million views across all streaming platforms. That's big, bro. That's huge. Because Without even a, a, like an actual yeah, music bro, video. Yeah, because the day that the day that I'm gone, bro, I'm gonna be remembered as that nigga. You're gonna have a legacy. Did that that yeah. did that. He did that. He he did that first. Yeah. And that's that's all I do this for, bro. That's what you could ever hope that's, for. Yeah, that's all I do this for, bro. Mm -hmm. So now they're gonna listen to the song. They're gonna be like, damn, this. <laughs> it was a real one. So, yeah. And that's that's my main goal. Eh? Aparte, aparte, de sacar a mi familia adelante. Ah, well. Aparte de eso. That's what it's all about. Aparte eso, trata, eso. Sí, aparte de eso, carnal. Yeah. Pero pues... Tienes que, te te digo, tienes que ser un orgullo por tus papás ahorita, ¿no? Sí, bro. Algo te esperaba sí. como un dolor de muelas, ¿sí? ¿no? Sí, te a tus cosgorrones. Qué pero... loco que lo mencionas, bro, porque cuando yo te conocí a ti, bro, el apoyo de mis padres era muy mínimo. Ya, yeah, yo me acuerdo. Y, y, y yo te lo contaba a ti, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. hasta te decía, güey, yo te lloraba, güey, yo me yeah. sentaba y, y, y yeah. lloraba, güey, y te decía, eh, güey, like... Es verdad, oh, al Chile quiero hacer esto, güey, pero yeah. look, my parents are doubting me, like, they're letting me down, like, yeah. no creen en mí, güey, me están mandando la verga, yeah. ¿me entiendes? Es pero hoy en día, güey, no pero, 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 guacha, hoy en día, bro, mm -hmm. gracias a Diosito que es muy grande, bro, gracias. Amén. Hoy en día, bro, ellos están en su celular, güey, en, en TikTok, en yeah. YouTube, mirando videos, <laughs> y, no, y, sale. <laughs> y les sale mi canción, bro, les yeah. sale mi canción, les sale mi música, les sale mis videos, mis videos. Yeah. Y yo me quedo, y, y son en momentos, güey, y, y la vida es bien loca, güey, oh, yeah. es bien loca, güey, porque son en momentos, güey, cuando mm -hmm. ya me voy, güey, me estoy alistando, güey, estoy agarrando mis cosas y yeah. todo, y de repente voy para la sala, güey, y voy pasando, y de repente a la verga, güey, esa es mi canción, güey, <risa> ¿Qué, ¿qué onda, güey? Yeah. Está saliendo el teléfono de mi mamá, güey, yeah. ¿sí entiendes? A ver, enséñame. Como que ahorita aquí pasando. estamos sentados y viendo la, la música ahorita. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. like. Yeah. Like, la vida de muchos así, muertos, wey, si me entiendes y, uh -huh. y, y ver esos momentos, bro, eso, eso me llena un chingo de felicidad, güey, porque me acuerdo los días, güey, que estaba llorando, güey, uh -huh. porque se, no sentía apoyo de mis padres, bro. Yeah. Y pues, hoy, hoy en día ya, ahora sí ya me, me apoyan, ya me creen más. Ahora ya que les, hiciste ya el les trabajo. preguntan a ellos, a ellos les preguntan, yeah. les dicen, like... Oh, él es tu hijo, él es tu hijo, y esto, y... They gotta stick their chest on hell, yeah. Sí, eso es mi hijo. <risa> you know? Sí, bro, y yeah. más que nada, sí, este... Sí, un, un saludazo para mi familia, porque los quiero mucho, y... y pues, un saludo para la, pa la familia Méndez. Sí, aquí andamos. Desde Monterrey. Ándale, <risa> sí. You know, pero una, una cosa que yo he uh, uh, aprendido con el tiempo, bro, es cuando la gente no te cree. Mm -hmm. tienes, siempre tienes que hacer el esfuerzo, y ya después que haces el groundwork, y ya tienes todo estructurado. Primero, la que tiene que creer en ti eres tú mismo. You know? Pero cuando estás ahí abajo en ese pozo, no, no miras la luz. You know? yeah, bro. Pero sí, si no, no, la cosa es que nunca te deteniste, bro. Además, uh, sobre todo esas cosas que la gente no cree en ti, no daban un peso por ti, bro. Como quiera, tuviste los huevos de seguir adelante. Sí, 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 you know what I'm saying? 
Y, y ahorita me impacta mucho porque la gente que va a escuchar esto, que no sabe eso de ti, nada más mira los views, nada más mira todo, nada más mira lo, la parte glamorosa. Sí. Pero no miran todo el esfuerzo que metiste para llegar a este lugar y todavía sí, te falta mucho, bro. Sí, bro. Pero como a los ojos de la gente, you already made it. Yeah. Ya estás aquí, you know? Sí, bro, y pues aquí sigo mi raza echándole ganas. Aquí yeah. andamos echándole ganas porque pues así empezó todo, ¿verdad? Echándole mm -hmm. ganas y así, así se va a acabar todo, wey, echándole ganas, wey. Pero, al Chile, pues muchas gracias, güey, por, por no, invitarme gracias a ti, aquí también. a esta, esta charla. Y, pues, <risa> no, uh, bro, like, ya era tiempo de platicar, güey. Pues, sí, te me pierdes, güey. Te me vas, güey. Te me vas. Ey, no, no vi, no pasó, como digo. No, pero uh, ándale. No, <risa> y pero, no lo sé. No, pero... No, güey, no te preocupes. Este, muchas gracias por todo, como quiera, carnal. Yeah. Aquí andamos, ya sabes, para servirte. Ya está, aquí andamos. Órale. Órale, carnal. Yeah, for sure, bro. Ahí estamos. Su compa Juan Méndez. Rex.